Architectural diagrams are crucial to communicate information regarding architecture because they help in making the comprehension process easy. These diagrams help to clarify a building, relationships between the elements of a building, or a process connected to a building. What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will cover a fun topic on how to create architectural diagrams in Architect and Lumion. Just basics on uh, architectural illustrations with this software that we love providing tutorials for guys. So, with the help of such diagrams, complex information becomes easy to understand in a single image, and viewers can easily uh, see things and interact with your diagrams and your project. So, without further ado, guys, let's get started. So, the type of Diagrams we'll be focusing on today are contextual diagrams. Contextual diagrams are similar to site analysis diagrams as they attempt to show how building sits within its surroundings. And just from the look of what we have here, it's just that. All right. So basically, we'll cover like uh, tips and tricks how to navigate uh, through Archicad. Just producing a basic diagrams in Archicad and then transporting that. Thing that you manage to come up with in Archicad to Lumion and try to depict main site areas and context, represent site and how surrounding interacts with uh, the proposed building. So to start with, we'll start in Archicad. This is a this is a map that we got from a city surveyor. So we're going to start by using fills and then to color code and articulate our diagrams. Uh, just so you know, this is a site, a proposed football academy. So it's just in the neighborhood. So we have context in the neighborhood that we're going to annotate, try and annotate and fill with different colors or maybe with different uh, heights and stuff like that. So this is what we're going to do. So the proposed building is this one, uh, which will comprise, comprise of uh, changing rooms, restaurant, kiosk and stands and VIP, you know, sitting area. So basically for the sports academy and people uh, who are going to come and watch this football games. So we're going to basically articulate this buildings and its surrounding spaces. Like what do we have in the surrounding area? We have a park, we have a hospital. In this neighborhood, we have a park area, we have a recreation area, we have schools, we have, we have nearby churches and residential. So such thing we need to annotate and help people understand that, right? All right. So this is what we're going to do. Then we start with a kit. We fill, we fill with different. Just play, play around with those because these are lines, right? Okay. So after we use our fill to differentiate the spaces, uh, we move on by using slabs now, as in to extrude our fills into 3d so we just we are going to uh, turn our site into three building blocks as to view in 3d and surrounding areas like i said we are going to try and extrude them and see how uh, they relate with our building uh, our proposed site and and stuff like that okay and just so uh, just to make this clear this file will be available for our patron users uh, you can download and practice the spells and and hone your skills with what we are trying to achieve here guys so like i said um this is basically an introduction to site analysis via Archicad and lumion this will help you guys produce uh fun diagrams diagrams that will make you present you make your presentations very good and stunning so this is basically the foundation of site analysis. So a good site and context, content, context analysis is crucial step in achieving good design, guys, and planning process, proposals, and you know stuff like that. All right, moving on. Uh, moving on. Um, I, I think we just for the sake of time, I don't want to take time in Akiket. 
So we managed to extrude our building blocks. Our building blocks, we magic wanted the slabs to achieve uh, our, our 3D site analysis, of which um, in a head sense, we are happy with the diagram. We are happy with the diagram. We move on to saving the diagram into uh, Lumio. You save the diagram without the proposed site and save it as 3D format. And then it goes to to Lumia and as well as the, the proposed site alone. So the color coding just make it white and then the proposed building give it a different color. Just make sure you minimize color in your presentation, in your diagram. Just so you, it has to be catchy. All right. So moving on to Lumion, uh, it's just a, you select a plain, a plain uh, temp template that, that you're going to, it's very nice, a plain template that will allow you to have a, a feel of the background like, you know, just a, a white background that we find. Then you place your file and then you place as well as a proposed building with a different color code. Like I said, and color it the different color code, and voila, this is basically uh, it's okay and, and it's better than Akia diagrams. You can see, you can compare, and yes, this one you could even enhance it. You can put trees, you can put people, you can put whatever icons to annotate your buildings. You can, you know, yes. But I came here to Lumion just for. Uh, uh, a better understanding of the solar paths you could utilize lumion for that you could utilize lumion for solar paths and positioning and this on itself would help you in terms of orientation of your building you'd know which uh you know you'd know in terms of your window facing it'll help you in terms of passive design it'll help you in terms of uh window and door selections because now you had studied how the sun moves, how the sun movements and, you know, stuff like that. The importance of light in architecture cannot be overstated, guys. Understanding the impact of natural light on actual spaces is essential for architecture, for architects. And this understanding includes knowledge of the sun and its position. And Lumion on itself, this is how you'd, uh, you know, adjust Lumion solar orientation. You adjust the sun orientation and Lumion like this, guys, and the positioning. Uh, you know, you know your way your east is. It would help you in terms of design, passive design, your overhangs, and stuff like that. Okay, that's basically just a basic introduction of uh, environmental sustainability. That will help you in terms of better environmental sustainability. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, now, as as a we are we are diagramming our site and findings. This is what we have so far, and um, we move on by proceeding and playing around with uh, Lumion effect, render effect, as to achieve the diagram feel of an image. So the effects we're going to have to choose two effects. Make it simple. Make it clean. We're going to choose um, the um, sketch like sketch like fill, sketch like effect, and um, the outlines. Just play around with the outlines, make them accurate. This is um, a stunning effect. Out of those two effects, and we are good to go. Play around with the camera angles as well. Play around with the camera angles, include the plan view, and then the asymmetric and the perspective. So you're going to have uh, maybe four images of a black and white in the color, and then you have the two different views, uh, sort of a plan view and the perspective view. So you plan around with the play around with the effects, sketch like to achieve to achieve this sort of a, this is a diagram. This is a hand drawn diagram. And then test your renders, test test your renders, test your renders, and test your renders. Just as much as multiple times as you can of different angles of different effects 
but I, I, I recommend you just use True Effect, uh, the black and white uh, outline and sketch sketch effect. So after we have rendered and, and we are satisfied with our views, we can annotate or depict the surrounding areas with art so as the viewers of the project of your project could know what the picture is all about. Since with you, you know what the picture is all about, right? But now annotation is important. Let's annotate. We annotate our building. I annotate our site. So uh, the key catch here is our workflow. You're going to use uh, icons from Archicad. These icons were vectors and uh, we trace them with a slab and then we save them into 3D format, which you will be able to export into Lumion. Um, yeah, just this legend. Remember this legend? Uh, uh, it's a diagram, a contextual diagram is uh, crucial to have. Um, crucial to have a legend. So these icons are our legend. We save them. We model them. We model them and save them one by one, and then place them in Lumion. So we want to make sure our diagram is simple and clear. With data, we are representing graphical order, right? So this diagram is this key are going to help us in terms of making this diagram clear and readable and people to understand. Anyone using a diagram should be able to understand it at a glance. That means including a key within the diagram. So let's do that. We are going to place our diagrams, like the, our icons, the proposed site, schools, the, the gas station. Just place them one by one, and then you can test them in 3D format. You can also test them in um, test them in, in a plan view. And as I said, limit the color zone. So this is quite uh, interesting diagram so far. And just. We don't have too much colors. So basically, uh, after reaching, since the camera is already saved, you can now test the renders again. You can now test the renders with the icons that are included. Um, yeah, basically that was uh, how to achieve a contextual diagram. Because I know we have a lot of tutorials on, on the internet, on YouTube, on how to do this with Photoshop, with with Illustrator, but that's a. What if you don't know how to use those softwares? What if you want to try something new? What if you want to try something in 3D? So you could even do better. This was just a, a topic that I came up with uh, just not so long ago because I saw a lot of trending isometric views and site analysis diagram. You can do that, you can try a few stats in Lumion. Can do that in Lumion, guys. This was just a uh, way show. We're just showing you skills you could use them. Um, you know, produce wonderful pictures because it just tells a th thousand words, guys. Be creative with this. Okay. So that's how you successfully start an architecture project, by guys, by doing a complete set analysis. This can help you with your passing design. Like I said, your circulation diagrams, your program or contextual diagrams you could do that all right and as for my conclusion like uh you could get this file then our patron our patron subscribers would have this get the download and the link in the description and as for today this was all about it i covered quite a, a different topic from what we are aligned to but I think we still have the same motto of providing architectural tutorial and you know this was uh, I hope this was an eye-opener in terms of how you could further use your architecture and Lumion in congestion and to produce architecture diagram because there are many forms of many various forms of architecture diagram guys um, and just so you know, architecture diagrams are effective means of communicating ideas to clients and the public. So understand this workflow, 
take your time and see what I was trying to achieve, what I was trying to show you guys. Uh, that's it for today. If you like this video, I uh, hope you could smash that like, like button. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel uh, for us to continue providing uh, value like this, videos like this on a weekly basis. And uh, as for today, uh, that's all. Bye for now. Stay creative. See you in the next video.